All right, so second to last video here in our Linux series, and this one is a very important one. So we're going to cover a few things. I want to cover how to install files, how to install updates, and how to get files from GitHub. All these are going to be very important and things that you're going to encounter as a pen tester all the time. So from a Linux perspective, let's say that you want to update your system and you're in the terminal. Well, what you can do is you can say something along the lines of apt update and we'll say also apt upgrade when you're done with that. So what this is going to do is this is going to go out and you can see these archive.linux and I'll scroll back up here. And all these tools need to be installed, but this archive.linux.edu, so this is what's called a repository. So we're going out to these repositories and we're saying, hey, what's been updated lately and what do we need to download? And you can see, okay, these packages that are automatically installed, no longer required. We can auto remove them if we need to. And then we have all these new packages that need to be installed. If you look through the list, it's quite a bit. And then we've got the, the packages that will also be upgraded through here as well. So we have all these updates, upgrades, etc. If we want to perform this, it's going to take up 871 megabytes of additional disk space, and it will probably take a little bit of time to download, upgrade, etc. So if you want to do this, go ahead and push your update. You absolutely don't have to to be successful in the course, but just to provide clarification and understanding of how it's done and what it's doing, just wanted to point that out. Now, Let's say we just wanted a tool, a specific tool. You see all these things in here. A lot of them are related to like Python, which is interesting because I do want to install a Python tool. So let's install a tool called pip. So what we're going to do is we're going to say apt install. And then the tool is called pip, but it is Python dash pip like this. So type that in, hit enter. It's going to go check for it. It's going to look for it and it found it which is great. If it were, weren't to find it, it would say something a little different. We can show you like say, just hit some numbers in there. Say unable to locate that package. So you'll know you're on the right track with the package name here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually hit yes to install this. It's going to go out and download everything we need for pip. And you're going to see why pip is important here. So there is pip and there's pip three. Now both of those go out and do some installs for us. And we're going to go ahead and just say yes. Um, and those installs are related to Python. So we're going to use a lot of tools in this course that are related to Python. Uh, and it's going to install those tools for us. So pip is for, for Python. Pip 3 is for Python 3. Now Python 3 is uh, the latest and greatest. Python 2 is actually being deprecated in 2020 or end of service in 2020. So a lot of things are actually moving away from that now. So when we get into the Python section of the course, we're actually going to be working completely in Python 3 uh, for this reason solely. So while we wait for this, let's go ahead and go out to the interwebs. And I'm just going to go to applications up here and then Firefox terminal. So from here, as an update to the course, I want to introduce a tool and teach you also how to install a tool. So this is kind of serving two purposes here. So I want to go out to Google and what we're going to do is we're going to look for a tool called Pimp My Cali. P-I-M-P -P, My Cali, just like that. Now this is written by a guy named DeWalt. He is a, a pillar of our community in terms of our Discord community. He's very helpful when it comes to the course. If you've ever been in the course Discord or looked at it, um, you will probably see that he is a part of it and he's there and he's helping out. He's fantastic. Um, now this is up to date. He does a great job of utilizing this. And what he's done is he's taken the new Kali Linux, which anything from 2020.1 and onward has kind of had some issues here or there. And he's created a nice script to fix all of those issues. Okay, so we don't have to go through and troubleshoot a lot of things throughout the course. This script just kind of goes in and fixes a lot of the things that were wrong. So I really am appreciative of this script because it is fantastic. Uh, what we can do is learn from this as well, though. So what we can do is we could take this code and we could just copy it here. Okay, we can hit Control A, Control C, or you can hit Copy on the clipboard. 
what I want you to do is I want you to go out to a terminal. We're gonna go ahead and just sudo switch user. Okay, and enter in our password. Now, we're going to install something from GitHub. So what we're doing, and this is very common by the way, you're gonna see this happen throughout the course. We're gonna put this into a folder. So what I wanna do is change directories to a folder called opt, O-P-T, just like this, and hit enter. And we're going to put our file here. Now this is very common. A lot of people tend to put their, uh, their downloads or installs into the opt folder. It's just a place to keep all of these. So this is a common thing to do and a good practice to get into if you've never done this before. So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to type in git clone and then we're gonna paste it. So you can do control shift V as a shortcut or right click and paste, hit enter, and you can see it started cloning. Now once it's done cloning, all you have to do is change directory into the file name right here or the folder name. So CD, we'll just type in pimp my Cali, tab, hit enter, okay. And from here, we can just do ls, look what's in here. Okay, so you can see the pimpmycali.sh. We're gonna go ahead and just run that. So dot forward slash pimpmycali.sh. Just like that, hit enter. All right, and we're going to run zero here. Okay, and this is going to take a minute. So it's gonna go through and run all these upgrades that you see here. So what it's doing is it's fixing some of the issues that we have. So we're fixing Go when we have to install Go later. We're fixing Impacket, which has some issues on its own in 2020.1 and later. Um, and we're also enabling root login. So there's a lot of things that we're doing here that help us out throughout the course and is just a nice overall upgrade. Um, there are also some other features here. So as you'll see, we have the ability to downgrade from Metasploit 6. So if you do encounter issues in the course, you can come back and downgrade to Metasploit 5, which is what we are currently doing. Um, but as you go through the course, Metasploit 6 might be working or more functional. As these tools upgrade and things go on, um, you know, you have to kind of evaluate what's working, what's not working and, and take it from there. So as the script gets updated constantly, be on the lookout for these things as they get added or removed. But for now, we're just running the zero. We're going through and just adding all these different tools in. You should see it scrolling along like this and should uh, function pretty, pretty straightforward. So go ahead and let this install. The big takeaway here, and once, once you're done, go ahead, we're gonna move on to the next video. But the big takeaway here is that you should be comfortable with using the apt package to go out and download tools. You should be able to comfortable with upgrading your system through apt and you should be comfortable now with going out to the web github at least and going and downloading a folder off, or cloning a repository off of github and installing it on your own it's very straightforward if the github is good the github will tell you hey here's how you install it and it'll say these are your instructions like right here it says here git clone cd into it dot forward slash pit my cali straightforward and most most githubs are like this so as we download tools from the course you're going to get more practice with this and understand it better um, but from here you're going to just take it and go and here you can see something that we talked about is that we are lost the ability in 2020.1 to use root this will allow you to run root in Kali if you want here we're just going to type in no unless you know what you're doing uh, you could type in yes but again as stated in the pseudo video if you are not familiar with Linux, it's best practice just to keep hanging out in sudo and utilizing it that way as a low-level user. And again, we're just going to let this run, and I will catch you over in the next video.